Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about how to create a Windows virtual machine using CLI. So let's watch this video. So first of all, we need to download uh, the CLIs and we'll install. So what is CLI means, which is like Azure CLI install, which is command line in uh, interface. We need to write the commands and we'll do the manipulations and just click on this link. Anyway, I'll leave this link in description. No need to worry about that. You can check in description and directly you can click and install. First of all, just download this and install. So if you are using Windows operating system or Mac, so based on that, you can install that. So I have already installed. Just click on next and it will take only uh, five to six minutes to install so i have already installed the azure cli so just i'll click azure cli command prompt so if you are not able to install so if you are facing any issues no need to worry about that you can use the command prompt also so like cmd so you can use the commands so anyway the first step you need to log into your portal because this cli doesn't know which portal which login credentials you are using so for that i'm just logging uh, the command is az login so no need to worry about these commands to remember anyway I'll keep in description just use that command so the basic thing is uh, we'll use in uh, CLI everything in start to command we'll use agent so that means Azure so just click on login it will navigate the web browser and click the login which you want so I'm using this account and just uh, uh, click the password and just sign in it's take only one minute to sign in so uh, it successfully was signed in now first task we need to create a virtual machine so to create a virtual machine in azure so we need to create a resource group not only virtual machine any service group you need to create in azure so first of all we need to create a resource group so for that i have created a like uh, i have command to create a resource group what is that means so the uh, az group create the name of the resource group which is i'm giving the windows resource group cli and the location it is uh, east us i'm giving that so just click on enter it will create a windows resource group cli in your portal.azure.com what you have logged in and just you need to check that it's saying that successfully created the uh, azure CLI, uh, like a resource group which is windows resource group cli and just go to resource group and check uh, whether it is created or not refresh and you are able to see the uh, windows resource group within like one minute or two minutes uh, so yeah i'm able to see the windows resource group cli here so and just empty resource group i'm not like in this resource group no services are there here so no other services i have created now i'll create a virtual machine in this resource group only so for that i have a command which is az uh, create resource group and the name of the resource group and the name of the virtual machine and the image i'm using which is win 2016 data center and the admin of, of, of my username i'm giving the uh, haripriya manne so i'll just copy this command which is very easy command anyway i'll keep in description no need to worry about that and just just click on enter so it will take just uh, two to three minutes and we need to give the password we need to set the password of that uh, uh, command so i'm giving the admin password so to connect to the vm uh, so just i'm giving some password here so it was started and running almost it's take two to three minutes if you want to create a virtual machines using this portal.azure.com and also how to create a virtual machine by using this cloud shell or power shell so if you want to know so the windows virtual machines and uh, how to connect the virtual machines also in different ways ready uh, did a videos on that if you miss it that the link was available in description otherwise the uh, it's scrolling in right you can click that links and you can watch how to create a virtual machines windows virtual machines in portal as well as the powershell and now this is total on cli so just i think it is created yeah the vm is successfully created you can see here it was allocated the public ip address and the resource group it was created in windows resource group uh, cli so and the location is east us also it was uh, uh, 
uh, created successfully uh, here so how to check it, whether it is created successfully or not just go to resource group and click on that resource group what you have created which is windows resource group cl and you can see the uh, name of the C uh, vm as well as the ip address subnet address everything otherwise you are able to see in your virtual machines also which is cli vm what i have created so the vm is successfully created uh, so the windows vm which is successfully created and you can see the ip address and all the stuff is created successfully now let's connect to the vm whether it is created or not let's check that vm so for that we have in command which is mstsc slash v colon and type this public public ip address like 20.168.2.192 so just connect this vm so and give which the is like hari priya manne and the password which is like hari at the rate one two three four five and we have created and just click on okay and it will successfully can uh it will trying to connect our virtual machine what we have created so first time we are connecting so which is just uh three steps to create just install cli and uh, login and after that create resource group and create virtual machine in that resource group that's it very easy steps my operating system and normal things and you can do lot of stuff here so this is be connected and you can do what you want in this virtual machine so this is the way to connect create a virtual machine using cli and this is the way to connect uh, azure virtual machine and also you can delete uh, this resource group because if you are not, if you are using the free subscription or anything it will uh, cost if you are using or not so just delete this resource group and you can use this portal.azure.com uh, you can click on delete you click on this and you can click click here to delete otherwise you can connect the virtual machine also just click here and you can download rdb file so and also you can download that rdb file and you can connect that way also i have already explained in previous videos so i have tried different way to connect the virtual machine in this video which is like the command mstsc call and v slash and the uh, ip address so i hope you have enjoyed this video i'll come with the new videos here so totally this is like Uh, I'll do uh, videos. Uh, I'm trying to do. Just keep on subscribing to my channel. Just keep on subscribing. Thank you for watching.